One of the hardest things for a human being to do is to love their enemies, because it goes against all the works of the flesh, one being our pride. I'm sure you've heard some people say, well, I can forgive, but I can't forget. Then you have not truly forgiven. You are holding on to that encounter or incident. Saint of God, just as you ask the Father for all things, you can ask him for the grace and mercy to forgive and ask him to remove the hurt from your memory. If you ask the Father for a fish, will he give you a stone? Can you shed tears for your enemies? Can your heart be broken at their plight? Or do you take pleasure when your enemies are in a hard place? Are you able to do good things and be charitable towards your enemies? Or do you turn your back on them and shut your ears and close your eyes to their plight? For it is written, Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbour and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Do you love your enemies as the Lord loved you when you were in sin and his enemy? For it is written, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You might say, But you don't understand what was done to me, what they did to me. Listen. Jesus understands he suffered much and he yet loved us while we were yet lost in sin and serving the wicked one. Have you forgotten how wretched you were before the Lord saved your soul? I have not forgotten and am so thankful for the Lord's great mercy. Saint of God, if the Lord cannot soften your heart towards your enemies, you are in a precarious place. The Lord has great mercy towards the penitent, the broken, those in bondage, the cast down. How great is your mercy towards the same? Are you able to love those who despitefully use you and persecute you? Personally, I have had my struggles with these issues, but the Lord is working something in me. He does that, you know. That's his job. As we submit ourselves to him, he is faithful. He is able to bring us under conviction, and he is able to instill in us the overcoming power that we need. I have found that it was basically a matter of my pride getting in the way of the working of the Holy Spirit in my soul. It has always been easy to deal with those of the world, but when it came to certain members of my family, I often let my flesh rule. It is not my desire to manifest the character and nature of Satan, but rather to manifest the character and nature of Jesus Christ, my Saviour and Lord. So I must daily submit myself to the Lord and trust Him to grant me His overcoming power. For it is written, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The majority of us saints have not as yet had to suffer unto death, striving against sin. Those who have sinned against us 
have not caused our physical death. For it is written, For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Saints of God, if we are willing to suffer with him, we shall also reign with him.